I'm telling you guys, there's there's definitely a fish on this. There ain't no reason why there shouldn't be one right at the end of that pipe. Just like that. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So guys, I was inside all day doing some things and I came out here because one, I don't know if you guys can see that, but my fence broke. So the one section of my fence was flopped over. So I actually came out here and pick it up. Well, I got these new baits from Fishhead, which I'll show you. I'll, I'll tell you more about them in depth at the begin, at the end of the video. Um, but there's some of these new spinner baits that Fishhead is making. And tomorrow I'm actually planning on going on the river. I do have my boat with me. And I'm going to be filming a tutorial video on it and more of just like hopefully whacking fish on this bait. Depends on the conditions. And again, it's super windy today, so you're probably going to get a little bit of wind noise. And also, as you can tell, very cloudy outside. So I was like, this is ideal for this spinner bait. This is going to be good. So I picked up my poles just for a minute. I was like, I'm going to walk down the bank for like five minutes. If I don't get a bite, okay, whatever. Well, I ended up walking down for like 10 minutes and caught four fish, including one that was like three and a half. And it was like the one time I didn't have my GoPro. So I was like, all right, I got to go back and get it. So we're going to go out here. We're going to throw the spinnerbait around. We're going to walk around the pond a little bit and see if we can whack them. But let's go ahead and get it started. Let me show you the spinnerbait real quick, though. All right, guys. So, so this is actually the spinnerbait by Fishhead right there. Just got standard willow leaf. Well, it's got a Colorado right there, but standard willow leaf. It's got a little willow leaf blade under. As you guys know, fish heads, a fish head spins one of my favorite baits, and they started making spinner baits. And I love a spinner bait, so I was like, you know, the conditions are absolutely perfect today. I was like, let's just go out and try it, give it a try. Let's go catch some more, guys. Also, there's my fence that actually broke. That was the reason why I was coming out here. But I wanted to go fish it for a second. I'm gonna have to get that fixed here soon. I thought I was gonna be able to fix it, but it's actually snapped. So, but I'll, I'll worry about that later. Golly! He's bit me right there. Golly, he just freaking smoked me when I just came out here. Already fished over right here. There he is. He's right where he should have been. He's small. So spinner bait. Fish head spinner bait guys. First one on camera, fifth fish overall. And what's this? Yeah, I thought you had to kiss a fish. <laughs> I don't know. But look at me. Really? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh my god. What what did you just do? What did you just do? I think I did nothing. What did you just do? No, what did you just do? Just <laughs> Your bait wasn't even in the water. I know, same way. Huh? Did he come out of the water and eat it? I think so. No, he didn't. Uh huh. <laughs> just like with good fish, guys. Good job. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know how you just caught that, but I'm, I hope I got that on camera. What? What did you? Your bait wasn't even in the water. I think I was like. You were hovering above the water, were you not? I think I was like doing like this. What's that like? Right there. And it looks like boom. Wait. Oh, and as the on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's oh, crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought I got like a 10 pound bass on my line. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm going home now. All right. I'm done fishing for the day. <laughs> good job. You have a good one, buddy. Guys, I have no idea what just happened. I'm as confused as you guys. I, I'm not gonna lie. He was saying his bait was like out there, but I, he didn't even click his reel. Like he had his his plastic baits under his chin. So that fish had to have, I'm hoping I got it on GoPro, had to have like jumped and grabbed that. Like I, I don't even know what happened. That was the craziest thing I've honestly ever seen. That was the craziest fish catch ever. Hey buddy. Hey, hi man. I'm Jason. How you been? I'm Noah. Here. Nice to meet you. I haven't had a chance yeah. to talk to you in person. I've seen you across, but uh, thanks for fishing with the boys. Yeah, of course. He caught one a second ago. That's great, it was awesome. Man. Yeah. yeah they, they love it, man. They love That's it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's well, guys, kind of weird to sit here and just find an 
apple just laying in the water and there's a dead turtle as well right there there's a bunch of weird things i've never been on this side of the pond i'm just walking and fishing and hoping to get a bite so i never really been this far over here god there should be one right here hoping this is going to be like the other side of my house it's the first time i really walked around this pond there he is oh it's a big one oh yeah it's a big one oh yeah oh yeah come on baby get up about two and a half oh yeah Oh yeah, beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful. Nothing monstrous, but solid. Two and a quarter, two and a half pound fish. Very healthy. Surprised by how healthy these fish are. There you go, guys. This is fish number two on the camera. He's right where I thought he's gonna be. I think back here, these fish are in this transition. They're not where I was really fishing on that main lake right there. I didn't have a bite for a while. It's coming back into these little pockets is where they're at. Beautiful little fish. Hopefully we're gonna hook his big mama. Let's get a release on her. There she goes. Wow, he bent out my spinnerbait. I cannot wait to go on the river tomorrow, guys. These next couple of days, I'm gonna try to get out on the river and film some awesome content for you guys. Look at that, bent, that. bent it out, there we go. Gosh, but they are sure chomping this spinnerbait. I hope the conditions tomorrow are somewhat similar. You know, you got these this cloud cover, and you got a decent amount of wind. And right now, the wind is 20 miles an hour. Right here, it doesn't really seem like it, but it is. It's, it's, it's whipping pretty good. It's been uh, pretty crazy lately. What I was trying to say before I hooked that fish is I have yet to like kind of walk around this pond and fish it like this, especially in this, golly. He just whacked it sideways right there. That was absolute, just whacked it. God, you can probably see my rod move. But I have yet to walk around the lake like this. This is the first time I've really had a chance to go around and actually fish this thing. So hopefully we're just going to we're gonna hammer him. You've literally got like a basketball, a bouncy ball. I don't even know what kind of ball that is. Got like a little waffle ball. Jesus. <laughs> Crazy. Got a bobber. Hey, puppy. Look like Max. Hey. You wanna go fishing? There he is. I knew he was gonna be right there. Alright. Fish. Fish number seven. Jeez, I jacked him good. Nothing big again, guys, but, but that last one was a decent one, but it's kind of a little bigger than that first one I caught on camera. This is fish number seven today, third on film. Again, on that fish that spinnerbait. Also, guys, I feel like you guys gotta know that, you know, when I'm sitting here throwing the spinnerbait, I'm not just sitting there throwing it and reeling it in. And there's a reason why I'm making all these casts that I'm making, it's not, just random casts I'm throwing out there you know I saw this structure laying in right here on the water if I felt some of that structure I let it tick it and I'm actually slow rolling this thing I'm not just sitting there reeling in you know I'm sitting there bumping off of this structure slowly creeping this bait and sometimes I'll flick my rod just to use the sporadic movement so if that fish is chasing it and you know for some reason he's not eating it and if I twitch that bait he might sit there and gobble it today that hasn't really been the case you know they've usually just been eating it as I'm slow rolling it, they haven't, like when I t twitch it, they haven't usually been eating it. But there's a reason why, you know, these fish are in the areas that they are. I've, I've seen the, I've been catching them back in these little pockets where there's like a little bowl. Over there, there's a little bowl. And it's like a little side pocket that where the, war the wind isn't super, it's, it's not really being blown in there as much. It's more of a little, I guess you could say current. I, I guess you could, look, there's another pipe. Right there, that's actually right where I caught that fish. That makes sense. Here, I caught him right before this. I promise you there's another fish right here. Let's see if we can catch one. I, I promise you. 
There is a fish right here. I'm telling you guys, there's there's definitely a fish on this. There ain't no reason why there shouldn't be one right at the end of that pipe. Just like that. <laughs> oh man. Just like that guys. Just like that. <laughs> you can't beat that guys. Right off that pipe. Right there, fish number four on camera, fish number eight overall. Right after that last one that I caught, just right at the end of that pipe. I'm sure there's more stacked up there. We're gonna see if we can catch his brother. There you go, buddy. Oh my God. God, he felt huge. They're all like, they hit it so hard, this hammer. It made sense why he was there too. That's fish number nine. Jesus, this spinner bait is just killing it. What's going on guys? It's like 1.30 right now. Just not editing this video and I'm gonna be ending it off right now. First of all, I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't checked out the fish that spin, spinner baits, which are honestly complete fire. This is the first time I really got to use it and just absolutely, they were they were just munching on it today, guys. Conditions just rolled up. I wasn't planning on fishing in the backyard, but I haven't fished there in a while. And, you know, I finally got to break down the pond and figure out those fish. And, you know, it was a successful day. One of the craziest fish catches ever that I saw by one of my, that was actually my neighbor. And one of the craziest things, he lived across the pond and, that was unreal. That, that was pretty intense. But uh, guys, Sunday, most motivational fishing video you guys are going to ever watch. Your most motivational video up to date on this chan channel. You guys are going to definitely want to watch it. Put it on your calendar. 11 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday. Please share it you know, all over because I want this video to blow up. This is the video that I really want to blow up and I'm putting a lot of time into it. I've actually been editing before this or filming and editing for this video because literally it's going to take all this week for me to finish that video up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Be sure to smash that like button, comment below and hit the little bell by the subscribe button because I will send you post notifications. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video.